This is ChemQuest 42, Rates of Reactions Introduction by Eric Kim. So in the info, in the beginning, they gave us that for a reaction A plus B going to C plus D, the rate of disappearance for reactant A is equal to the negative change in molarity of reactant A over the change in time, which is also equal to the negative change in molarity of reactant A over the change in time. And then they asked, what is molarity? What do the symbols delta and the brackets mean? And what units would we expect? for the rate of disappearance of a reactant. Um, so the molarity is moles of solute per liter of solution. Delta is change in. The brackets are concentration measured in molarity. And for the units of the rate, we'd expect uh, molarity over seconds, which is moles per liter second. And then they ask, how is the change in molarity of the reactant and the product calculated? And would those numbers be positive or negative and when writing the equation for the rate of formation of a product the negative sign in the above equation is not needed to explain why so whenever they say change in it's final minus initial so final molarity of reactant and final molarity of product minus the initial molarity of reactant and the initial molarity of product and then for the reactant it'd be negative because uh, the reactants are turning into products so you have less reactants at the end than you had at the beginning and then for products you have no products at the beginning but then as the reactants turn into products you have more at the end so that you have positive minus zero so the value is going to be positive and the negative sign is only needed for the change in concentration of a reactant so for the rate of formation of a product products are being formed so the rate is positive but for the rate of disappearance of a reactant the reactant is going away so that's negative negative. and then they give us this data table consider the decomposition of N2O5 and the experimental data for the reaction taking place inside a container that has a volume of 3.0 liters and they say to calculate the change in moles um, of N2O5, NO2 and O2 between 600 and, 600 and 1200 seconds and then what is the relationship between the coefficients and the balanced chemical equation and the number of moles used up or produced in a reaction? So the change in moles is just um, the moles at 600 minus 1200 for the reactant and the moles at 1200 minus 600 for the products because you want the change in to be a positive number or you can just take the absolute value, it doesn't matter. Um, so I put these in a ratio, the moles of NO2 to the moles of N2O5, 2 to 1, N2O5 to O2, 2 to 1, NO2 to O2, 4 to 1, and those ratios are equal to the the ratios in the balance, uh, balance equation. And they told us to fill in the chart, so the change in moles of O2 is um, from 1800 to 1200 seconds. And then from the slide before, one mole of O2 is f four times the moles of NO2 and two times the moles of N2O5. So once we get that, we just add that to 1,200 seconds. We add the change for N2, NO2 to the moles for at 1,200 seconds, and we subtract it for N2O5 because N2O5 is losing, but the NO2 is gaining. And they say calculate the following values. Be sure to use molarity, the rate of disappearance for N2O5 at 12, at 0 and, 12 and 600 seconds. Uh, appearance, rate of appearance for NO2 and O2 between 0 and 600 seconds. And they compare the rates and what relationship exists between the rates and the coefficient in the balanced chemical equation. <clears throat> so in order to get the rate, we need molarity the change in molarity over the change in time and since the data table only gave us the moles uh, we had to change these mole values into molarity values so they said the container has a volume of three liters and molarity is moles per liter so N205 at 600 seconds over uh, the moles at 600 seconds over three liters minus the moles at zero seconds over 3 liters and divided by 600 minus 0 because that's the um, the change in time 
and you do that for N205, NO2, and O2, making sure to have molarity in both. And then the rate of N205 is negative, but NO2 and O2 is positive. That's because NO2 and O2 are the products, so they're forming. And then N205 is the reactant, so it's losing, like that question in the second slide, or the third slide. So the, ratio, uh, the, the relationship is the same as the uh, balanced chemical equation, just like the mole ratios. The ra rate of appearance of O2 is equal to 2 times the rate of disappearance of N2O5, which is equal to 4 times the rate of appearance of NO2. So then they say, calculate the following values. Be sure to use molarity in your calculations. And then we'll need to know that the, the ratios from before. The rate of disappearance for N205 between 600 and 1200 seconds. Uh, well, that's just the molarity of uh, N205 at 1200 seconds minus the molarity at 600 seconds divided by 600. And that's negative because that's the, uh, the reactant, so it's losing. And then they say the rate of appearance for NO2 and O2 at 600 and 12 to 1200 seconds. Well, we could just use the the equation, the ratio equation from before. And then since N205, 2 N205 is equal to 4 NO2. Uh, NO2 is just 2 times the rate of N205. But it's positive this time because it's a product and it's forming. And the rate of NO2, I mean, a uh, rate of O2 is just one half of the rate of NO N205 because for every 2 N205, there's only one O2. And that, that again is positive because it's a rate of appearance and it's a product. And then the rates are not constant. Uh, as the rate reaction proceeds, are the rates constant? What affects the rate? The rates are not constant because the rates are sl uh, slowing down uh, as time goes on. At, at time 600 to 1200 seconds, it's slower than the time between uh, the rates between 0 and 600 seconds, and the rates are dependent on concentration.